Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Thursday, 24th of January 2019. Straight in with the date. Today we are again joined by Leia. The blanket remains. I don't know if you can just see her. She kind of is merging in with the blanket. She is also lightly snoring, which is quite sweet. Cat snores are sweet. They're not like people snores. They're like a little kind of murmur in the background. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Joan Oliver, who sent me a gorgeous parcel. And <laughs> in it was this gorgeous jumper. Oh my God. I don't know if you can see. Can you see how soft it is? And it's dusky pink and it's a perfect fit. How did she know? Oh my God. So heartfelt, massive thank yous. It's winter here. <laughs> I'm so snuggly. She also sent me some Nancy's mustard. So if you're in America, you're going to know what that is. Because as you know, I am the condiment queen. So I have something new to try on my sandwiches. Mm -mm. And some lavender goat's milk soap. Oh my God. Oh my God. So thank you to Joan. An absolute big love going out to you. Okay. Have jumper, will travel. Hello. 24th, 24th, 24th of January. Whoa. Two major arcana out of two so far, peeps. Still using the Norse tarot. <laughs> can, look, can you hear that? That's Leia snoring. Okay, we're working with some tricky stuff. I want to look at the bra. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I say we're working with some tricky stuff. And then I look at the bottom, and here he is again the magician. Now this is Odin and I know that someone's written into me and said he's not a trickster god and primarily he's not a trickster god but he does have a slightly, because I've been researching him or and as, this is the same with all research for mythology, some people say this, some people say that. The magician for me always has a trickster element. I'm not judging negative or positive. There is a slight element of not quite knowing where, what he's up to, okay? This energy has been in our reading three days in a row. I'm not always drawn to look at the bottom of the pack. Today I am. Yeah, he's here again. Okay, there is something. There's something afoot. It's a tricky energy for this reading. The moon. The moon, <laughs> of course, we've just had the eclipse. Of course, that's resonant. The moon itself is always a card. You know, it's the opposite of the sun. It's borrowed light. It's suggestion instead of clarity. It's inference instead of answers. Okay, it's shadows. It's seeing by night rather than seeing by day. It's when you walk through the forest and everything looks one way and then the sun goes down and it's night time and everything takes on a different view. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. There's karma afoot, there's stuff going down when the Wheel of Fortune is, is in reverse. Of course it's a wheel, of course it's always going to come back up again. That is the reassurance with the Wheel of Fortune. But there's a little trilogy of cards here that just, to me, if it was a back massage, this would be a knot of muscle, okay? That's my knot of muscle mine, if you like that. It's seven of swords. Seven of swords. Seven of swords when it meets the moon seven of swords itself is a card of 
shadiness it can be it can be secrets what i get from it today which is another big meaning for me of the seven of swords is that sometimes the end justifies the means you're not being given the full picture you've got the moon here the moon always means gaslighting and people being at cross purposes and mystery and secrets certainly they're not telling you what the truth you know that's not to say someone is feeding you a big fat lie there's a big there's a chasm between lie and truth okay you're certainly swimming in the murky silvery gray waters of the in-between when that is the case your modus operandi needs to match it sometimes and the seven of swords is being political in the with a, with a small p so whichever situation you're in you may not want to reveal your hand either you may not want to be true blue in this situation you may not want to be shouting the truth from the rooftops because you're not in sympathetic waters okay you also have here the king of cups in reverse king of cups in reverse is a card that speaks of borders again the king of cups of course is poseidon not in the norse tarot but generally he is a sea god he is a god associated with the sea he is the water signs of pisces cancer scorpio more importantly he's always depicted near shoreline and with the king of cups you ask yourself where is the line between truth and lies okay or truth and untruth or love and hate or whatever it is and the answer is it's as incomprehensible as saying where is the shoreline which is like here and then 10 minutes later it's here you know it's never straight it's never obvious and it's eternally changing this is an eternally changing it's like a tidal situation the moon okay moon tides king of cups in reverse in the background of all of this this magician character continues in the upright he's not yet turned up in the reverse the magician in reverse i find very tricky to deal with i like his presence in the reading for the last few days he's insistent on showing up it's like you didn't deal me but i'm gonna make you look at the bottom of the pack the magician has the ability with the four aces the four elements of the tarot i always want to say blood sweat gravy and egg but i'm going to say it properly with the ace of swords which is the thinking and the strategy the ace of cups which is the emotions and the love stuff and the ace of pentacles which is bringing things into being money property work and then the ace of wands which is the energy behind all this and the passion he's constant What's going on around you, quite honestly, is a Neptunian circus of <laughs> what Stewie calls a casserole of nonsense, isn't it? We've said that before. This is a casserole of nonsense. You need to behave. Obviously, you know, you're going to do it legally and all the rest of it. Your choices. You're going to be circumspect. You're going to be <sighs> careful. You're going to be political you're going to be maneuvering a bit it's not going to be a day for blurting and being you know i must be upfront about all this well nobody else's nobody else's then here the three of wands in the upright i like this it's a little peek into the future it's a little oh a little peek into where things are going or where they potentially could go not yet because we're still in oh i love that we're still in this kind of strange betwixt in between energy we're in those murky waters you know you're in these murky gray waters no one's throwing you that weird you know lifeguard ring thing that you always see on the fence and wonder what if anyone ever throws that to anyone no they're not but the magician is there this influence is there it's steadfast it's powerful it's guaranteed it's i don't know it's like he's almost watching over this circus 
and you're a part of it, okay? Your oracle card is yin. Masculine is the yang, where you go out there and you change things and you shout and you get stuff and you're the warrior and you're like this, that and the other. No, that's not true and here's the line and all that. Right, we're in the yin. The yin is the observationist. Observer. Oh my God, Jim, I was an observationist. You can be an observationist if you like. It's that kind of reading. You're, you're the observer. You're being political. You are assessing your own moves based on what everybody else is doing as well. It's not to say that eventually you won't be able to have your say, you know, that you won't be able to... And another thing, you know, that kind of thumping of the stick. But... You're taking an appraisal of a merry-go-round here and the stuff's going round like this. And it's like, whoa, don't get caught up in the spin, okay? Be the magician, remain at the hub. Watch, learn, take it all in, okay? What an interesting card. Forgiveness is key. This card is a difficult pill to swallow when it comes up in a reading. However this pertains to this muddy waters situation, compassion and forgiveness and forgiveness begins with the self, particularly in this reading and particularly with the seven of swords, okay? I'm going to go so far as to say morally all bets are off here. Forgiveness, compassion, self-love, extending that out to others, observing being yin, taking it in, being the receptor. Whoa, okay, leave me a comment. Please let me know how that resonates. Do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.